So many things going on these days with COVID-19, vaccinations, gun violence nationally, locally, but there's also a situation happening right now at the southern border. Undocumented migrants are flooding into the U.S. from Mexico. Someone who's seen it firsthand, Area Congressman John Katko, who joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being with us. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, my friend. Um, you just made your second trip to the border. The first one was back in mid-March, uh, this one almost a month later. I mean, what was the difference between the two trips for you, what you saw and what you experienced? Well, I, I led, uh, I'm head of Homeland Security for Republicans now, and I took my Republican members of the committee down to the border, and it's stunning to see um, how much worse it has become and uh, how overwhelmed the Border Patrol agents are. And I saw it firsthand with uh, going out in the bush with them at night and seeing people coming across the border and also uh, going into the Donna, Texas facility where these children were just packed in like sardines. And uh, it's really a human tragedy that didn't have to happen. And I think to kind of uh, paraphrase what the Border Patrol agents are telling me, they believe that these policies that were implemented on January 20th has caused the United States to be the largest uh, uh, trafficker of human beings in the world. And that's a pretty stunning statement when you think about it. But um, that's what they believe because on the front lines, the border's out of control. And they, uh, the, the, I, I, my, my heart bleeds for these people coming across because they're pawns in a much bigger game especially involving the drug traffickers. Yeah, you've certainly obviously uh, laid blame at the policies of Joe Biden since he came in, but don't you think this is a, a, a longer route and much deeper, deeper problem than just the policies over the last couple of months? Well, what, what happened is when you when people are in desperate situations, and like, quite frankly, if I was in one of those Central American countries, and I and I, I, I try and give my family a better life, but um, what the problem is is that uh, they get exploited all the way up here. One third of the children are, are uh, women are, are are raped and sexually assaulted. I saw young women, uh, preteen women, that have been raped and in, 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 uh, in terrible shape when they got here. Um, it's a, it's a tragedy that when you invite people to come, and basically that's what they're doing here by changing the policy, they've kind of had an open door policy at the border, and that creates the exploitation of these people that is really stunning. So when they come to the border, they have to pay the drug traffickers on average $4,000 to get across. They don't have the money, so then they get released in our communities now all over the country. And I saw it firsthand because many more on my flight uh, coming from, from the border to Dallas-Fort Worth. And they're going to uh, the various cities all over this country. They're going to work for the cartels to pay off the debt that they, they incurred by getting across the border. So it's a very, very sad and very, um, it's a, just a terrible situation. And what, you know, I want to bring it back home to central New York. All this is causing the agents to be pulled off the border that normally enforce the border and keep the drug trafficking under control. And the sector I was at in the Rio Grande Valley had an increase of 2,000% of uh of uh fentanyl and we all know fentanyl is what's killing our kids in central new york because it's being mixed with heroin and killing our kids so it's a direct correlation of what's going on in central new york as let well. me let me ask you this last one on this topic because i want to get a couple more in quickly uh press, press secretary uh jen Psaki for the white house said monday a commitment between the biden administration mexico honduras guatemala to increase border security there by those countries to try to help keep migrants and, and immigrants um, undocumented getting into the, the U.S. border. Um, how much can that help? It's not going to help unless we decide to secure our borders. And what the, what, you know, the bottom line is they've, they've, they have been told, all these people have been told, and it's accurate, if you're a child or you come across with a child, you will not be sent back, uh, especially if you're an unaccompanied child. So these poor children, a lot of them are coming across, their parents are standing across the border and they're being sent across into a world they don't know, and to, to people they, and to care and custody people they don't know. And uh, it's very tragic. So uh, it's the policies of our country that would help stop this, would stop it by 90%. Every single Border Patrol agent I talked to down there said the same thing. If we went back to the pre-January 20th policies, this crisis would end very quickly. Let me get to two other quick ones for you. Um, First, Congressman Tom Reed. He's a member of your Problem Solvers Caucus. He's now being investigated by House Ethics Committee for claims of sexual misconduct. He's apologized for those. Have you talked to him about this at all? Should he resign now? Well, it, it, here's the deal. I, uh, I'm on the Ethics Committee. Uh, I'm a specially designated prosecutor for ethics. And in fact, I prosecuted a Republican last term about the ethics issues. There's an ethics investigation underway. He has uh, acknowledged his conduct. And he is resigned from, uh, from the leadership in the Problem Solvers Caucus. And he is uh, not running for governor. And he is not running for re-election. 
and uh, um, we're going we're to take it from there. And then we have to wait to see the results of the investigation. Okay, last one for you. You have a telephone right. town hall on the COVID vaccine tonight. What are you hoping to get across tonight for people? Why should they uh, tune in and listen to this? Listen, we, the trend was going in the right direction, and then we have this incident with the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and it may get people pause. And so we want to have the experts from Upstate Medical University to talk to the individuals and, and my, my constituents so that they can make a decision for themselves. We hope their, their, their decision is to, get, to go get vaccinated. We're also going to, for anybody who wants to get vaccinated, we're going to have a lot of information about where to go, how to go, uh, and, you know, what, what the vaccination means for them and for the public. So it's going to be quite informative, and I know it's going to be really good because I won't be leading the discussion. <laughs> listen <laughs> in. Most of the experts will be. Folks can listen in live, 635, on the congressman's Facebook page, Congressman John Katko. Out of time for tonight. Uh, thanks for joining us, though. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. God bless.